Um, so black history to me might look a little different. Um, black history to me looks like uh, Alabama. It looks like the east side of Long Beach. Mm. Sounds like Marvin Gaye. Mm. Sounds like G-Funk. Mm -hmm. Sounds like Snoop. <laughs> Sounds like Warren G. Yeah. Um, it feels like home. Mm. Sounds like Paul and Lawrence Dunbar. Yeah. Sounds like Phyllis Sweetie. Mm -hmm. um, it sounds like joy. And it sounds like pain. It sounds like grandma's prayers uh, and long rides to school. My old brown apartment on 11th and Walnut that turned into a condo by the time I walked by it again after I turned 10 led me to believe that the essence of my family's livelihood there was gone. I still remember running from my mom's apartment up the stairs to my southern grandma's place to play outside with other grandma's babies. Nana's baby grew up some and we moved into a small one bedroom apartment where the living room couch was where I laid my head for some time and sometimes would sneak into her room and I'd climb into the bed with her to watch those old western shows. Western shows sufficed me until life flashed before me and those nicks of times came and went by so fast I ended up in the south of the rural cusps of Alabama where I found myself suddenly engulfed in my grandma's stories mm -hmm. of only a few houses on the block, corner stores, and farms with calves. Phone calls consisted of me questioning if life was like that or like this. Moving to the South for some time made me feel resentful when my grandma told me not to come down here and be no freedom fighter. Mm. <laughs> Feelings of guilt arose when I realized it was too late to go home and be with her. So I decided to keep studying. It wasn't until then that I realized something great came from the barren land I stepped foot in. Recognizing that the pain I felt from being away avenged my family's livelihood in every way. That my education would not be in vain and maybe one day I'll go back home and buy that condo, and personally write her name on the banner that will open up those brown gates that will welcome us back home. Yeah.